Hello friends, welcome to Yantriki. Today we are going to discuss about zeroth law of thermodynamics. Before discussing the law, let's understand why the law got its name zeroth. Because it came to light after the first and second laws of thermodynamics, which had already been established and named. But this law was considered more fundamental and thus was given a lower number zero. Now let's see what it talks about. So zeroth law is related with the thermal equilibrium of bodies. So let's understand what thermal equilibrium means. Here you can see there are two bodies body A and body C. So two bodies will be said in thermal equilibrium if the temperature of both the bodies is same and there is no exchange of heat between them. So you can see that the temperature of the body A is T and the temperature of body C is also T. So there will not be any exchange of heat between them and uh, the temperatures are same. Now we can say that body A is in equilibrium with body C. Now let us understand the law of thermodynamics. It states that if two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with some third body then they are also in equilibrium with each other. Let's understand this with example. Here we can see that body A is in equilibrium with body C. So we can say that the temperature of body A is equal to the temperature of body C and hence there is no exchange of heat between A and C. Similarly, the temperature of body B is equal to the temperature of body C and thus there is no exchange of heat between body B and C. So body A is in equilibrium with body C, body B is also in equilibrium with body C. Now as A and C are in equilibrium, B and C are in thermal equilibrium with each other. Therefore, A and B will be in equilibrium with each other, which means that the temperature of A and the temperature of B will be same. Moreover, there will not be any exchange of heat between them. Thanks for watching.